tragedies, unsolved mysteries, stories we never really got the answers to. But as Malaysians, these stories are need to know and they mustn't be forgotten. Nurin Jazlin was a standard two girl studying in Stapak KL who was reported missing on August 20th, 2007 after she went to a night market near her house in Wangsa Maju. Almost a month later, while the police were still searching for Nurin, a man rang up the authorities to inform them that a black and blue gym bag with a body inside was found in a book distributing company's premises. The body was sent for a post-mortem after authorities believed that the body could possibly be that of Nurin Jaslin. This was officially confirmed on September 20th, 2007. The girl's parents denied that the body was their daughter's even though the autopsy results proved otherwise. Police also revealed that the young girl was sexually abused and brutally murdered as the report revealed that a cucumber and brinjal were placed into her genitals. They added that she was dead for over six hours before her badly butchered body was found. On September 21st, a funeral for Nurin Jaslin was held and a special team was also formed to search for her murderer. Although the team had special strategies and a networking system to capture the perpetrators, one said there could be a possibility that the suspects had escaped the Klang Valley because of the extensive media coverage on the case. On September 24th, Nurin's parents came under fire. The then minister in the Prime Minister's department, Datuk Sri Muhammad Nazri Aziz, said that they should be charged for negligence. Negligent parents or guardians can be fined up to 5,000 ringgit or face a jail sentence for no more than two years or both, under Section 33 of the Child Act 2001. Muhammad's statement was rebuked by Malaysia Crime Prevention Foundation Vice Chairman Tan Sri Lee Lam Tai because he felt that the parents shouldn't be punished after all they had been through. However, he also urged all parents to be aware of their responsibilities in protecting their children. On October 1st, five suspects in relation to Nurin's case were arrested, but four of them were released almost immediately except for one Indonesian woman and up until today, their immediate release was not explained. The woman was detained near a stall in Nilai Negeri Sembilan, which is about 15 kilometers from the Seremban rest area where Nurin Jaslin was reportedly seen a month earlier. Police refused to reveal the woman's connection to Nurin's case, but they did reveal that she had swallowed a SIM card when she was brought to court for remand. Medical officers later managed to retrieve the SIM card and police revealed that the number was allegedly used to send text messages to the police, claiming that Nurin was with her. On October 11th, police released an enhanced version of Nurin's kidnapping video. In the video, a man was seen carrying a bag and leaving it at the spot where Nurin's body was found and in another video, a woman was seen along with three men in the area. However, the video still wasn't clear enough to identify Nurin's killer. In 2018, Nurin's father asked the police to reopen his daughter's case and investigate it using the latest technology, but unfortunately his plea was not entertained. The Nurin Jaslin case remains one of our nation's most brutal stories and it serves as a reminder that parents should always be aware of their children's whereabouts, especially in crowded places.